guys, Lou Harty here. I just finished another live session on our skincare frequently asked questions. So one of these, I asked all of our customers, what are the most common questions that you have with our secret products? All right, and you guys gave me the answers. So what I did is I compiled it into a great little live session. I'm about to upload it into all the social media channels, including my Lou Hardy Live YouTube channel and my Facebook channel, Lou Hardy Live. So go and check it out. But they're the most common questions. You know, how do I get rid of dark circles? What sort of uh, daily routine should I do? What sort of skincare product should men use? Uh, should I exfoliate every day? Should I exfoliate weekly? So all of our common questions, like anti-aging questions, how soon should I start using anti-age creams, etc. So hopefully I've uh, answered them all, but remember they come from you anyway. So check it out. All right, so just comment below. But again, uh, a lot of our products, as I said, are from the Dead Sea. And I, all I did is just ask all of our customers, what what are the questions that your customers have or that you have uh, with using the products? Um, and these are, these are the, the, the questions that I'm about to recite to you now are the most common ones. All right, so let me just share my screen. All right. Okay, so we do have uh, over 90 products like a foundational skincare range, we have an anti-aging range, we have uh, a BioShield range, which uses, like in the Dead Sea, there are 21 minerals, but Secret uses 12 of those in this particular skincare range, which contains the red algae within the Dead Sea. So these are, the skincare products are the purest form of ingredients um, on the planet, all right, infused into our products. So we have hair care and we also have men's range. All right, so, okay, one of the first questions is uh, how often should I exfoliate? All right, so how often should I exfoliate? Now, that could be your face, it could be your body, all right? Now, most experts advise that you exfoliate two to three times a week, all right? So that's plenty. Right, because remember, to exfoliate, what, you, what, what are you doing? You're removing dry skin, you're removing dead skin from your body, all right? And you're allowing the new skin to grow and removing all the toxins and all the dirt and grime, all right? So, you know, a lot of people don't even do that. Some people go through years throughout their life and don't even do it, all right? So the idea is, is to try and... Uh, when you water one of the products, um, for example, I've got an image there of the pure salt, which is 71% dead sea salt. Um, that is for your body. So you can exfoliate that, uh, use that in the shower um, every day. Sorry, you know, two, three times a week. Um, and also on your face, there's one there at 62%, which is 62% salt. This is one of my favorite products. In fact, the 62% salt, um, I absolutely love that. So that is, um, yeah, that, that is amazing. That, because what it does, it actually gets deep into your pores, yeah? So I love that. All right, so have I stopped sharing? Yeah, I've stopped sharing. So we've got, um, as I said, you know, two, three times a week is plenty. It's more than enough. All right, so what we do is let me just try and find that. At the moment, we have that as part of our Christmas sales. All right, so um, part of our Christmas sales, you can get that um, for $89, the, the pure salt. But I'll go through I'll go through the deals at the end. Let me just, uh, let's just keep answering the questions because the questions are why you are here. All right, you can always find out the rest um, later, later tonight or on the previous shows, right? Okay, so am I back to sharing? Share my screen, let's play. All right, so how often should I exfoliate? Two to three times per week. And as I said, we have the, the Dead Sea salt and oil scrub. We have the pure salt exfoliator, right? Plus we have a number of different um, masks that you can use as well, all right? Well, let's go back. I think I missed one. All right, the next question 
is which areas of the body should I pay attention to? All right. So which areas of the body should I pay attention to? So most expert experts advise your face, all right, because obviously that is what people see and that shows that your face, your neck and your chest because they're the three uh, parts of your body that age the fastest because they're exposed to the sun, all right? So your face, your neck and your chest, the back of your hands also, all right, because they tend to age faster. And for women, legs, the back of your legs, all right? So, but ideally you want to uh, moisturize your entire body, all right? Because you only have one body, that's your temple. But focus mainly on your face, your neck and your chest, the back of your hands, because they're the areas, as I said, that show the signs of um, aging quicker, all right? Also, Part of your skin routine should be sunscreen. Now, if you're my color, you know, uh, or even darker, probably we don't pay as much attention to, to sunscreen as we should. But again, we all age regardless of color, all right? So sunscreen should be part of your skincare routine. All right, so at the moment, we've got the Sparty Par Pack for $69, which comes with a salt and oil scrub to exfoliate, but also with the pomegranate body butter. So you can use that to uh, help moisturize your skin uh, and give you that rejuvenation look, all right? Next question. Do I need different products for morning and evening? All right, this is skincare products. Do I need different products for the morning and the evening? Well, the answer is at night, you want to use a uh, makeup remover. All right, so you want to use a makeup remover. We do have a number of makeup removers. We've got the eye remover, plus we've got the, the cleansing milk. All right, so you can click the link on uh, my website here and go and have a look at that. Or you can just get one of the packs, you know, the Christmas packs, which contains all of this stuff. So at night, you use a makeup remover. Um, Moisturisers should be thicker at night time, right? So the thicker, so you'll find that we have uh, a couple of different ranges, all right? So we have the blue foundational range, which tends to be a more light, all right? A more lighter foundational uh, moisturizer, right? And at nighttime, you know, you might want to put on the BioShield moisturizer cream, all right? So again, that's on sale there, all right? The moisturizing uh, BioShield, but at nighttime, you want a thicker moisturizer cream or, or moisturizing lotion uh, because it's more um, hydrating at night time. All right. Um, and once a week, you want to try a face mask. All right. Now, I hadn't used um, beauty face masks before, right? Uh, until I until I sort of saw secret. Okay. So I use this one here. It's a beauty face mask, all right? And oh my life, it is so beautiful. So I had never actually, before Secret, I had never used a face mask before, all right? Um, but now at night time, I place this on. Now they say once a week you can put a face mask on, but, you know, I just put a thin one on every, every couple of nights, sometimes every night. Initially it was every night because I loved it and, it was like I was playing catch up with my skincare. You know, I don't know, you know, some people may be like me and had neglected like a thorough skincare uh, routine. Um, but as you get older, right, you tend to look at yourself in the mirror and go, oh, my life, woman. You know, it's time to actually, you know, take the time, you know, to continue to look after your skin. All right. So. Whether you are 20, 30, or 50 like me, it doesn't matter. The thing is, is that you, the earlier you can get into a good skincare routine, the better, all right? So then you're not playing catch up later. But yeah, so one beauty sleep mask once a week is perfect. And the BioShield, um, you know, go back to your agent and just say, hey, I want this BioShield. And this is beautiful. 
you know, ask any of the people that are that are in our that are on our um, lives uh, that are in that are using secret. And honestly, they will tell you exactly the same thing, especially if they've used the BioShield uh, sleep mask. So that's amazing. Again, so the question is different products for morning and evening. Your makeup remover and then your moisturizers should be thicker than your day than your daytime ones. All right, because at nighttime your skin's resting, it has more time to rehydrate. Um, and once a week, use a, a night face mask. Okay. Um, I think I'm back on my back in stop sharing. No, I'm sharing. That's right. Okay. I'm just checking this out, guys. Yep. All right. Awesome. All right. Now, did I go too fast? Oh, no, that's right. Okay, cool. Again, guys, if you have any questions, just type them in and uh, I'll be able to answer them. Now, let's talk about our beautiful men. All right. So men have skin just as much as we do, right? Um, and men need to take care of their skin just as much as we do. All right. So, um, you know, go on to the days of the rugged man from the industrial age or, you know, the war days where they really didn't, they didn't moisturize their skin. They just got up and, you know, off they went to work. Right. Whereas now, um, particularly young men, they just, they're more attuned to their looks and their skin and they want to look their best as much as we want to look our best. All right, so is there any skincare for men? Yes, of course, we do have skincare for men. Uh, we have our men's essential pack, all right, which has got a moisturizer, it's got cleansers, we've got eye gels for men. All right, so a man's skin is generally oilier. It's thicker, their skin is thicker and tougher, more tough than females, right? And it's more acidic than females. So it needs specific solutions, all right? Now, all of the skincare that we have with Secret can be used on our men, all right? But, you know, I don't think a man wants to walk around with some BioShield or some the green anti-aging in his, in his toiletry bag, right? So what you can do, <laughs> you can just give him his own, give him his own skincare products, all right? And let him, let him uh, experience them himself. All right, so we've got at the moment, we've got, um, we've got this amazing uh, mail pack here. This is on sale as part of the Christmas deal. So get on the link and check it out. I really like this because one, it's got a big mouth, like most men. <laughs> right, it's a nice deep pack. All right, and it comes with a, the aftershave. Uh, foaming balm and the cleanser all right and plus we have moisturizer as I said and eye gels so we do have, do have a nice range of products for our men all right so they you know they definitely need looking after all right so definitely have a look at that this is the men's men's uh essential pack all right which you can find um on our link there and again that's part of our christmas deal christmas sale uh, the countdown to Christmas. So definitely get your blokies into that. All right. So uh, next question. What's the best way to treat dark spots? Oh, my life. Is this the biggest one or what? All right. This is one of the greatest questions. Um, because like Polynesians, uh, we seem to tend to get a lot of dark spots or you may have uh, blemishes uh, underneath your eyes, etc. cetera, uh, dark circles under your eyes. So this, this seems to be a common question. So the answer is a vitamin A or, or vitamin C serums. They go a long way to even out the skin tone and to lighten the pigmentation. Now, I could go through so many different products that we have for this, all right, but our secret uh, face serum, our eye serum uh, is, is a really good go-to for that. We have uh, age-defying uh, facial scrub, uh, a white facial scrubbing mask, which is also good to sort of even out the skin tone. And it does have a light, a light, a lightened pigment, uh, pigmentation 
um, solution inside it, all right, to brighten and whiten the skin. So it doesn't mean just because you're like dark brown that you're going to suddenly be white, all right? It is just a common thing in a lot of good skincare uh, because people want to brighten up that area, okay? So anything, a serum, a face serum, an eye serum, eye creams, all right? So we have a number of eye creams in all of our skincare ranges. So you can just comment below and uh, or you can have a look at the link and just go to face and have a look. Right, or comment and then I'll come back to you after this live. All right. So the next question, what's the best age to start using anti-aging products or procedures? All right. So uh, pretty much as soon as you can see wrinkles in the mirror, that's a good time to actually start um, the anti-aging products. So if your 15 year olds looking in the mirror and they're only getting a wrinkle because they're having to squint really hard, they don't need it, all right? But sort of once you get into your early 20s, all right? Or mid 20s, mid to late 20s, sorry. Uh, usually that's when you start to notice them. So as soon as you notice your wrinkles is a good time to start an anti-aging um, product. And as I said, the sooner you do this guys, the earlier that you do this, the better it will be for you and your family and your skin, all right? Another good tip is also the um, prevention is using a good sunscreen, all right? So if you can use a good sunscreen, then that'll go a long way as well. All right, the next question, do you really need a separate eye cream? Well, that's a great question. And the answer is definitely. Right, the skin around your eyes is thinner, okay? It is thinner. It needs more support than other skin on your face, all right? So using eye serums with eye gel or eye, um, or eye moisturizers is really good. The one I've listed here is our Regain Eye Cream, all right? I also have, I also have it as an eye serum. All right, so you can get it as an eye serum. Um, now that contains the antioxidants, you know, get, get rid of free radicals in the body. All right, so you, you want uh, a cream or a serum that has vitamin E, vitamin C and, and antioxidants. Right now, this one here, the age-defying eye cream has peptides, which helps reduce the appearance of wrinkles. So what it does, it helps also build collagen uh, in the skin, plumps up the skin, which pushes out the wrinkle, all right? So definitely use an eye skin uh, eye cream um, because that skin around your eye is more sensitive, right? And it's thinner than any other. Because most people, they just put um, a moisturizer on, all right? So, and they neglect other areas. Now, a, a, a routine can take, <laughs> you know, as little or as long as you like. Like sometimes I will take the time, it might take me five or 10 minutes. Depends what I'm doing while I'm doing it, right? Whereas other times if I'm rushed or I have to get out the door quickly, then, you know, it may take me two minutes, all right? So, but the thing is you do, this is your face, this is what everybody sees and this is what's going to carry you right up until it's time for you to close your eyes. So make sure you take care of it, all right? So uh, the next question is how often should I use a face mask? Well, most experts suggest weekly, right? So I do uh, one of the um, layered hydrogel masks once a week, but I also do a mud mask once a week. So I do two, two a week, right? Because again, I just, it hydrates my skin. It feels amazing. And I always want to look the best that I can. And at the moment, we've got the Flexi Boost uh, Coconut Gel Hydrogel Masks, right? So you get that, a facial cleanser and a headband like I'm wearing, all right? And that's on sale now under the Coco Clean for the Christmas specials for $100. That is a beautiful gift pack for somebody, right? So you've got that facial cleanser that you can use morning and night, and then you can have a mask each day. So yeah, one, uh, sorry, each week. So once a week is fine, all right? Okay, this is the most common question. What's the best skincare routine? All right, so 
You'll probably find, if you Googled it, you find it everywhere and they pretty much say the same thing. So number one is cleansing, right? Which is cleaning your face. So we have the deep cleansing facial wash or the mud soap. That's what, um, you know, all of our customers use in the morning and at night time is to clean your face with the soap, the mud soap, because it's pressed, 99% pressed mud from the Dead Sea. And then the deep cleansing facial wash, you know, some people prefer a facial wash over a soap. So we use the cleanser. So you cleanse in the morning, then you use a toner. All right, we have toners in, in all of our different ranges, but that a toner is optional. You know, you don't have to. A lot of people just cleanse and then put the eye cream and the vitamin, uh, the moisturizer on. But if you've got a toner, you know, you can use it. So clean, clean your skin, tone it, use a vitamin C serum. So we have face serums as well. So I put this serum on first, then I'll put the eye cream and then I'll put my moisturizer on. And then when I'm going out, I'll put sunscreen. So as I said, it's cleanse, tone, vitamin C serum, uh, eye cream, moisturizer and sunscreen. And again, a lot of people just cleanse, serum, eye cream, moisturize, all right? So if you can manage to do at least four of those things, right? The sunscreen again is optional, but you know, if you don't wanna have that withered face by the time you're 40, right? Definitely do it, wear a hat. I, every time I go out, a lot of people just see me in a hat because one, my eyes are sensitive to the sun and I do love getting a suntan for sure, but not on my face, <laughs> you know? All right, so uh, another great question is how can I shrink my pores? Well, pores can't be shrinked, pores are pores. Some people have deep pores, some people have small pores, right? But you can minimize the appearance of pores using, um, you know, uh, a toner, one of our clarifying mud masks or the mud soap. All right, so if you incorporate the mud soap into your daily routine, all right, you'll be able to, uh, you know, slowly start to minimize that deep appearance of that and doing a regular uh, a mud mask. But the clarifying mud mask is the way to go. All right, so let me just check this. Okay. And... Now I have uh, I have a few other um, questions. Like, look at this, right? There are so many questions that uh, I get asked, that we get asked. All right, so uh, I'll be making uh, content around these videos, um, around around uh, these common questions. All right. Now next week, uh, my Q and A will be around our products, our um, health products, all right? So make sure you tune in for that. All right, guys, so if you have any comments or questions, all you've got to do is type them in, in the link below and I'll come back and answer them. And then if you want to, you're more than welcome to come back at 7 p.m. tonight and then again uh, tomorrow at 11. I'll be posting these live. If you're watching this on YouTube, love a like it or a subscribe would be great. Um, because I want to keep bringing great value and great content. I love creating content and adding value. I hope you've enjoyed today. I hope it's answered the most common questions. So uh, that's it for me again. Uh, have a great Sunday afternoon and hopefully I'll see you again later. All right, take it easy.